Brethren Media, a ministry of international brethren.
thought from one word adile oro adhyayam eduthitte adinte aa thaakam vaakine kurichu namukku padikkanayittu kali apostle paul in chapter 1 verse 21 said for me to live is christ and to die is gain ah filipelavana onna adhyayathinte 21amte vaakyathil apostle paulus parayunu enikku jeevikkunnathu christu marikkunnathu laabhamaagunu take your thoughts away from all the conflicts that you are confronting in your daily life and focus it on the person of the lord jesus christ ningalde daily jeevan jeevathil ningal anubhavikkunna sagrivathamayittulla prashnangalai onnu maatchi vechittu kartava yesu christil ningalde shraddha kendrikkanayittu njan ningale aagvanam cheyunu and may god help you and me to be lost in the wonder and the greatness and the majesty and the glory of the person of christ kartava yesu christine mahatvathil tejasil avante avunyathathil indu raathri namukku mungikkulikka and the philippian letter philippian assembly was a great assembly adarchayittu valare manoharamayittulla oru assembly aayirunnu philippian undayirunnathu it was the first assembly founded by apostle paul in europe apostle paul was a europe il saavicha aadyathe assembly aanu philippian assembly and philippian assembly was very very much fond of paul aa paul philippian assembly ke paulus nodu valiya oru sneham undayirunnu and and they have shared their resources with him ah tande avashyangalil avaru kootaayga kaanichu ennulladana aa sabhayude pratheegatha they have shown fellowship with the gospel of christ with the apostle paul apostle paulus might suvishesha koshanathilulla panga avare pragadipikkundayi in fact this beautiful letter is because of the response that he was writing to them for the gift that was sent avare avane aichu koduthittulla kootaayamengil sahayathinu nanni oru pradhigaranam ennu nilayilana ee lekhathai nam kaanunnathu god is no man's debtor deivam aarkum kadapettirikkunnilla when you cannot outgive god thirchayayittum deivathin adhigamayittu kodukkuvanayittu namukku kelligilla and philippian assembly people were not very rich people aa philippian assembly ile aalukal adhigam dhanavanmaraya aalukal alla irunnu their liberality flowed in a wealth of resources for the help of the others avare avare avadhanam ennullathu mattullavare gunathine prayojikki poichu so we have this beautiful letter because someone gave a gift to apostle paul apostle nay bolosin aaro oru daanam nalgi adinte adisthanathil endra pradhigaranamayittana ee lekhanam than eludunnathu they have shown financial fellowship Uh, how you my color or a good time i have been doing it's a beautiful thing for a local assembly to commit themselves to show fellowship with those who are laboring for christ or a pradeshik sabha athavinte vayil pradesh tadumanikkunna oru devadasana sahay how you my sahay ke ennulladu valare manoharamaya oru karyam aanu during the early days when the assembly sent out a missionary or a, a worker abroad you know to other parts of india adhiya kaalangalil suvisheshakanmare indiyude vidara bhagangalilekke aikumbol and they have given a letter of commendation avarku or shivarasha kattum koduthaan vidunnathu but one thing is absolutely sure that very few people ever sent any financial fellowship to them ennal angane ullavarkku bhavulayamayittulla oru kootaayame aikkuvanayitta pallarum madi kaanichittunde because of that many of the great servants of god have suffered much when they first went out for the, with the gospel of jesus aadhyamayittu kartava yesu christ ne suvisheshamayittu indiyude idare bhagangalilekke kadannu poyittullavar valare idhe nerithathil kodi kadannu povattadayittu vandittunde i have heard horror stories about how that they were starving on many occasions and how god interfered and provided for them kartavane sevikkunnathine idil valare idiyam daarithrathil kodi kadannu poyittulla വേദനിപ്പിക്കുന്ന അനുഭവങ്ങൾ ദൈവദാസന്മാർ എന്നോട് പങ്കിടുകയും കർത്താവ് അവർക്ക് വേണ്ടി നൽകിയതിനെ കുറിച്ച് അവർ എന്നോട് പങ്കിട്ടിട്ടുണ്ട് chapter 2 you can just about summarize the entire chapter 2 with the one verse in chapter 2 verse 5 രണ്ടാം അധ്യായത്തെ മുഴുവനായിട്ട് നമുക്ക് സംഗ്രഹിക്കാൻ രണ്ടാം അധ്യായത്തിന്റെ അഞ്ചാം ഭാഗത്തിൽ സംഗ്രഹിക്കാനായിട്ട് നമുക്ക് കഴിയും let this mind be in you ക്രിസ്തുവേശികളുടെ ഭാവം തന്നെ നിങ്ങളിൽ ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കട്ടെ it is an ethical and moral instruction that he was giving them avarku nalgi kodukkunna oru dharmikamayittulla oru sadupadesham aanu adu that statement that that particular section is a theological gem mathramalla aa prathigamayittulla bhagam devashastra paramayittulla oru raktham aanu nu namukku parayum andri we can appreciate so much about it adine kurichu valare adhigam abhinandikkan namukku kadiyum and i have heard 
week after week on Sunday morning, people getting up and actually reading that particular portion of scripture for remembrance piece. But that was not the primary purpose for which that particular passage was written by the Holy Spirit of God. The primary purpose for writing that particular passage was so that we, you and I, commit ourselves to have the mind of Christ, Jesus Christ. And if you have the mind of Jesus Christ, then you will forbear with one another. If you have the mind of Christ, you will encourage one another. If you have the mind of Christ, that passage talks about the Lord Jesus Christ emptying himself. And he gave himself completely. Time permitting, we will look at that particular passage. But these, these things are written so that we might emulate the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. These things are written so that we will passionately desire the mind of Christ in our life. I should move on to chapter 3. Chapter 3, Apostle Paul really devotes his time telling us about his passion for Christ Jesus. In fact, the key phrase can be this. That, that I may know him. If you want to know the Lord Jesus Christ, you must be willing to give up something. There must be a re-evaluation of all the values of your Christian life. He looked at all the things that he gloried in in the past. Apostle Paul says, I count them all as a pile of refuse for the excellency of the knowledge of Jesus Christ in his life. When we look at things, we want, we want, to, have find, we want to find something to glory in. But Apostle Paul says, it is a pile of refuse. And I do this so that I may know him. As Christians, we must have a passionate desire to know Christ. That the word for know is epignosis. It's an intimate and a deeper knowledge of the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. That deeper knowledge will not come until you come to a place where you meditate upon the person of the Lord Jesus Christ in His very presence. And Apostle Paul says, well, I forget all those things that are behind. I reach forward, forward to the upward call that is in Christ Jesus. So we need to understand that if we want to know Christ as as believers, we must be willing to sacrifice ourselves. Not only that we should love one another, forbear with one another, and we need to understand that those things are pleasing to the Lord Jesus Christ. 
See, I don't have to tell someone who is passionate about the Lord Jesus Christ that you should encourage one another. And so, the, in, when you come to chapter 4, you find that the, the essence of that chapter is that I can do all things through Christ to strengthen me. And he is, he is actually leaving the, the knowing and all these instructions and he says, well, you know, he is now on an action-oriented path. Not only that, we should learn to know Christ, but we should be able to translate those knowledge in the practical Christian living. As brethren, we are so committed to knowing all the doctrines of the Bible. But we should just, just be committed to practical living out of the principles of the word of God as Christians in our life. He talks about the prayer life that he had. And he, you know, he, Apostle Paul has many prayers in the Bible, especially in the, in the various, to the various churches. So let me come and bring you back actually to the in the first, first part of the epistle. If you carefully read chapter 1, you would find that there was a lot of problems in that local church. There were, there were two, kind, two different parties. They were pro-apostle Paul and Khan. Apostle Paul. And Apostle Paul was at this point in time was in prison. And so he said, well, there are two kinds of preaching that is going on in one assembly. Some people preach Christ out of goodwill. Other People preach out of contention. And they have some agenda behind what they are doing. And, and so he said, uh, preaching is a great thing to do in the, in the local church. But what Apostle Paul is saying, you have to examine your motivation. Why is it that I want to preach? What is it that motivates me in my life? And we should have a big board in our study room that is motivation. And, and you should remind yourself of that motivation at all times. Whatever we do in, a, in, in Christian life, it has some motivation for what we do. Back in the, in the school days, I have learned social psychology. And, and you know, one of the things in the behavioral sciences is that you want to always find out what makes other people tick. They, they 
study the motivation in order to manipulate so that they can they can get you to do what they want them to do naam mattullavare endu cheyanam nu aagrahikkunu avare kondu endu cheyipikkuvanayittu avare prerippikkana adu kondu sadikkunathu we spend time in the presence of the lord to understand the underlying motivation of all the things that we do and say naam parcheyigeyum parayeyum cheyna ella kaaryathilum karthavinte sthanam endanu nu nam manasilakkirikkunu and so that motivation is what apostle paul he took up that concept അങ്ങനെയുള്ള ഒരു പ്രചോദക ശക്തിയിലാണ് അപ്പോസനായ പോലോസ് പ്രസംഗിച്ചത് and he said you know there are some people that in the law in the church at philippi that preach selfish because of selfish ambition ah our സ്വാർത്ഥപരമായിട്ടുള്ള താല്പര്യങ്ങളോട് കൂടി ദൈവത്തിന്റെ വചനം പ്രസംഗിച്ചവരെ അവിടെ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു so apostle paul instructed the believers അതുകൊണ്ട് വിശ്വാസികളെ താൻ ഉദ്ബോധിപ്പിക്കുകയാണ് do nothing out of selfish ambition അതുകൊണ്ട് ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ള സ്വാർത്ഥ മനോഭാവത്തോട് കൂടി നിങ്ങൾ ഒന്നും ചെയ്യാനായിട്ട് പാടില്ല now you know as a student big a student of the bible i wanted to study this word what is that word selfish ambition mean ee swarthamayittulla aagraham ennallathu endanu padikkuvanayittu njan perisramichirundhu so i discovered that it is not what it says it is more than that and naam udheshikkunnathine kaal appuramaanu adinte artham selfish ambition is when you do something regardless of the consequences of others aa mattullavarkku endu sambhavichalum endu edu kaaryam sambhavichalum namukku adhil oru vishayam illatha reethil nam prasangikkaya we just ignore the consequences for others aa mattullavarkku adhu moolam undagan pogunnathayittulla pratyaghathangale marannu kondulla prasangam people with the right motivation will always recognize and under, try to understand how is it going to um, impact my brother and my sister my wife my children who are the age that i rub shoulders with in my daily life enal nalla manavathodu kodi prasangikkunavare aa sahodari nalengil aa sahodari ende bhari ende makkal yan dainandara jeevithil idapaduna aalukal engane adinodu pradhigarikkum avaru engane adu prayojagi mohikkum enna reethil aanu prasangikkunathu now if you keep on doing things out of wrong motivation തറ്റായ മനോഭാവത്തോട് കൂടിയാണ് നാം പ്രസംഗിക്കുന്നതെങ്കിൽ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിന്റെ ഊർജത്തിന്റെ ഒരു നഷ്ടമാണത് കർത്താവ് ഒരിക്കലും അതുകൊണ്ട് മഹത്വം എടുക്കുകയില്ല the lord will not be glorified at all ashriyaya manu bhagathodu kodi alla nam prasangikkunnengil kartavinu orikkalum othappaduvanayittu kariyilla you need to understand that is the ultimate goal of all our ministry nammada sushrushangale okkeyum paramamayittulla lakshyam ennu parney kartavinu mahathamaanu it is so that we can lift him up adagonde kartavinu nam uyirthuga ennalladana nammada lakshyam we want the people to take their eyes off from me and from the preacher and focus it upon the person of the lord jesus christ prasangikkunna aalinu sraddha vittitta kartava yesu christ പ്രസംഗീകരിക്കുന്ന പ്രസംഗമായിരിക്കണം ഞാൻ ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് ഇറ്റ് ഇമപ്പ് ബിഫോർ അദേഴ്സ് മറ്റുള്ളവരുടെ മുമ്പിൽ കർത്താവിനെ ഉയർത്തുന്ന ഉയർച്ച ഡിയർലി ബിലീവർ देयर മസ്റ്റ് ബി എ ട്രാൻസ്ഫോർമേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് പ്രീച്ചിങ് ദാറ്റ് വി മേ ഹാവ് ഇൻ ദി ലോക്കൽ ചർച്ചസ് അപ്രിയമുള്ളവരെ നമ്മുടെ പ്രാദേശിക സഭയിൽ കർത്താവ് എങ്ങനെ പ്രസംഗിക്കുന്നു എന്നുള്ളത് നാം വളരെ അധികം ശ്രദ്ധിക്കേണ്ട കാര്യം വി നീഡ് ടു ആസ്ക് അവർ സെൽസ് വിൽ ഇറ്റ് ഗ്ലോറിഫൈ ദി ലോർഡ് ഓർ വിൽ ഇറ്റ് ഗ്ലോറിഫൈ മീ നമ്മുടെ നാം ഈ ചോദ്യം നമ്മോട് ചോദിക്കേണ്ടതാണ് അത് എനിക്ക് മഹത്വത്തിലാണോ അതോ കർത്താവിന്റെ മഹത്വത്തിലാണോ ആൻഡ് സോ ഹി യൂസ്ഡ് അനദർ വേർഡ് to qualify this uh, this injunction that he has given to the philippian church by saying do nothing out of selfish ambition or false glory തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും വ്യാജ മനോഭാവത്തോട് കൂടി അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നാട്ടിയത്താൽ നാം മറ്റുള്ളവരോട് പ്രസംഗിക്കുവാനായിട്ട് പാടില്ല നാം പ്രസംഗിക്കണം that when you do work anything out of selfish ambition nam swartha manobhavathodu kodi nam prasangikkanengil if you you will deprive the lord of all the glory kathavinte aa mahatvam nashtapettu povanayittu idey thirum and so we should learn we should when you, when you read the scriptures you should understand why what is it that god is saying trying to tell me adagonde nam chindikkanadhu kathav endanu nodu samsarikkanayittu aagrahikkunnathu so we must number one we must examine our uh, motivation onnavathu nammude lakshyathai nam parishodhikkanam number two randamathu examine our conduct and nammude aa perumaatathai nam srudhikkanam is my conduct worthy of the lord aa kartavini yogyamayittulla oru perumaatamaanu ennil undagunnathu and so apostle paul instructed the believers in chapter 1 apostle like we also nam theyathil vishwasigale ubodhipikkana let your conduct be worthy of 
the gospel of Jesus Christ. Is my life, that is the question. Is my life consistent with the word of God that I preach? Or is it simply because I want to have some, some great names and I want to be prominent in the, in the assembly and so forth? Is my life consistent with the word of God that is revealed to us? Am I living a, a blameless Christian life? Am I walking a life above reproach? That is the conduct that is worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And then he goes, penetrates the life of this brother, believer. And, and when he penetrates that life and he will say, he says, how about your attitude? Our master and Lord said, take my yoke upon you. For I am, I am meek and lowly. We ask, should ask ourselves. Do we have a lowly mind? See, when we deal with the issues of this time, our relationship with others will automatically change and transform. And so he said, Make, make Jesus Christ the pattern of your life. Let Jesus Christ be the model of, of you as a Christian. I have two girls, so I know that they look at this, you know, when, when they transform themselves in the order room, they look at these models. But I can tell you that all the models that they have followed, they have fallen by the wayside. But the model that we have in Jesus Christ is unalterable. It's unchanging. That's without blemish. Without spot. And so we should make Jesus Christ the model of our Christian life. We should become models for others, but we should always tell them, listen, don't look at my life. Yeah, don't look at me and walk. You are in deep danger when you do that. I am an imperfect model. I'm, I, after having done all these things, I, I should come to the Lord and say I am an unworthy servant. The only model that we should follow is the Lord Jesus Christ. And the word of God has given us a clear picture of the model of Christ. There are chapters that are just devoted to Christology. Especially if you want to look at it, book of Colossians. Chapter 1 verse 10 to the, to the very end, it gives you the many dimensions of the glory of Christ. Sometimes you think that, you know, they make, we are living in a world even Christendom makes Jesus Christ 
just another human model kartava yesu christu matoru madhurga purushan ennu vishwasikkunna oru logathilana nam vasikkunnathu he is the very exact representation of god anal devathinte adhe pradhiroopamana kartava ennu nam arnu kodukkunnathu what it means the you know when the representation and the manifestation can come together in one person that is when the word image is used in this aalathavum adu pole pradhiroopam oru pole inangi cherndirikkunna oru vyakthamana kartava yesu christ he is the image of the invisible god aa adrushinaya devathinte pradhimeyana avan he is the only visible manifestation of the invisible god adrushinaya devathinte prathe pradarshipichirikkunna velivaakkirikkunna ega vyakthamana kartava yesu christ he is only one who could say he who has seen me എന്നെ കണ്ടു കാണുന്ന കണ്ടവൻ പിതാവിനെ കണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നു എന്ന് കർത്താവിനെ പറയുന്നത് only the lord jesus christ avaru mathram idu parayanayittu kariyumayirunnullu and so well i can we have so many of those passages angane aneeka veda bhagangal undu another another chapter in the bible that we should converse ourselves with this revelation chapter 1 വെളിപ്പാട് ദിവസം ഒന്നാം അധ്യായത്തിലാണ് ഇതിനെ ഇതുപോലെയുള്ള മറ്റൊരു വാക്യം ദ പോസ്റ്റ് റെസർക്ഷൻ ഗ്ലോറി ഓഫ് ജീസസ് ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് ഈസ് റിവീൽഡ് ടു ജോൺ ഇൻ ദി ആല പാത്മോസ് പ്രണയ സ്ഥാനത്തിന് ശേഷമുള്ള കർത്താവിന്റെ മഹത്വത്തെ യോഹന ഞാൻ ദർശിക്കുന്നു നാം കാണുന്നു മേ ഐ എൻകറേജ് യു ടു ടേക്ക് ഈച്ച് വൺ ഓഫ് ദം ആൻഡ് സ്റ്റഡി ദം അത് ഓരോന്നും തിരഞ്ഞെടുത്ത് നിങ്ങൾ പഠിക്കുവാനായിട്ട് ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളെ ആഹ്വാനം ചെയ്യുന്നു വാട്ട് ഡസ് ഇറ്റ് മീൻ വെൻ ജോൺ സേസ് വെൻ ഐ സോ ഹിം ഐ ഫെല ഹിസ് ഫീറ്റ് ഞാൻ അവനെ കണ്ടപ്പോൾ മരിച്ചവനെ പോലെ ഇവന്റെ കാൽക്കൽ വീടുന്നു യോഹന പറയുവാൻ കാരണം ഓൾ ദി പ്രൈഡ് ആൻഡ് ദി മെയിൻ ഗ്ലോറി ദാറ്റ് വി ഹാവ് വിൽ കം ടു നത്തിങ് വെൻ യു സീ ഹവ് എ വിഷൻ എ ഗ്ലിംസ് ഓഫ് ദി ഗ്ലോറി ഓഫ് ദി പേഴ്സൺ ഓഫ് ദി ലോർഡ് ജീസസ് നമ്മുടെ അഹങ്കാരവും അഹംഭാവവും എല്ലാം കർത്താവായ യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിനെ മഹത്വത്തിന്റെ ഔന്നത്യത്തെ കാണുമ്പോൾ ഉരുകി പോകും it's very easy for us to glory in ourselves namal thanne prashamsikkuvan mahathapaduvan valiya thaalpariyullavaraanu namukku we don't need any training to do that adinu vendi aadra abhyasanu avashyamilla we all do it adnam adal nam ellavaru adu cheyyunnadaanu we are very much guilty of it nam ellavaru aa kaaryathil kochavaaligalumaanu and so apostle paul says god forbid that i glory jan save in the cross of the lord jesus christ through which the world is crucified to me and i to the world galatians magalathil lehnathil parayunna pole enikku kartava yesu christinte purushil allada prashamsikkuvan idayagirade enna apostle paulus parayunu you know these are great verses of the bible to memorize thirchi aayittu idu kaana paadam padikkuvan kariyunna manoharamayittulla veda vakyangal aanu but these are verses that helps us understand of the significance of the person of the lord jesus christ and the great revelations that he has given of himself to us kathava yesu christinte aa avunyathathey mathramalla than thanne thanne velippaduthirikkunna adinte aa mahaalmyathey namukku velivaakki therna karyangal aanu va another chapter of the book of by the bible that you should know about christ is actually chapter 1 in the book of hebrews ebrahimene onnam adhyayathilana kathava yesu christinte mahathathinte avunyathyam vera eduthu nam kaanunnathu and so may i encourage you in the you know to study the bible spend time in the presence of the lord adagonde devathinte vadanam padikkuvan karthavinte sannidhil samayam chelavadikkuvanayittu nam sahayikkunu ask the lord to give you the grace to enlighten his your understanding of him karthavu ningalku krupa tharunnathu pole devathinte vadanam alle padichu karthavine kurichu ariyuga we will cast ourselves in the presence of god when when we have a a view of the person of jesus christ like that kartava yesu christine aalathathe angane darshikkuvanayittu nam namukku kaliyumbol kartavinte paadaram indathil nam veeyum we will not stand and worship or sit and worship we will fall prostrate before him orikkalum namukku nilkkuvanayittu kaliyilla kartavinte aa sannidhil nam veeyum pogum and i i grew up in the old traditions of the brother nan oru palaya garvaadu paramparathil janichavanaanu and i have seen our older generation palaya thalamurai engane vartichirunnu nan kandittund casting themselves before god when they come to worship devathe aaradhikkanayittu kadannu varumbol avaru devathinte mumbaga veena aaradhikkunu and i'm talking about you know going with a three piece suit and then falling prostrate i would just think twice aa ee three piece suit okke ittu kartavinte munbil veena aaradhikkanayittu kadiyilla so the, you know the, this simple brethren who have come to christ from heathenism jadiya aacharangalil ninnu kadannu vandittullavaranu aathrosam out of the dead orthodox 
ഓർത്തഡോക്സ്
Study that word carefully. You will find that it is that the deity of Jesus Christ is unalterable and inalienable. And we need to understand that he became bond slave. And bond slave, you know, if you want to know about the bond slave, you know, where do you go? You go to Exodus chapter 21. At the end of seven years, the Hebrew slave was allowed to go free. The Hebrew slave was allowed to go out free. And so, when on, on the day when he was ready to go out, he comes to his master. I love my master. I love my wife. I love my children. I will not go out free. And then on that day, that master will have to take him out to a door and bore his ear. For the rest of his life, anybody will look at him. Anybody will look at him and uh, say that, that he was a bondsman. And so, if you if you have time to study what what, did it, what does it mean when the scripture says that he became a bond slave? In reality, he became a bond slave. The most menial task that was to be performed was performed by the bond slave. Then the night in which he was betrayed, he took a, you know, he washed the feet of the disciples. And you know, if we don't understand fully about what it means to wash the feet, we, we have beautiful socks and we change every day and all these things. Some people should, it, should change. <laughs> so, we don't understand when somebody washing the feet, what does it mean? Just like they did in the land of Palestine. They came through the dusty street of Palestine. While they were coming in, there was a basin with water and there was a tower. And the disciples just passed by every one of them. Every, every one of the disciples passed by them. On their way to the upper room, you can understand why they didn't do it. It's because they were arguing about themselves. Which, is the, which one of us is the greatest? <laughs> but uh, they were real brethren, <laughs> They were. And so they were arguing about themselves. By the way, I am a brethren, so. Whatever you want to say, I am saying against myself. <laughs> I identify with them. And I am not ashamed of them. I believe that they were passionate about Christ. They were service-minded. When my father came home, my father, he would go out to, to different houses, there were widows in our assembly, and find out whether they have something to eat. 
to be the kind of people that you want us to be in a world that is without love. Thank you for hearing our humble prayers because we ask it in Jesus Christ in his wonderful name. Brethren Media, a ministry of international brethren.